Hey everyone, Kelly here with Burlington Green. Preparing your garden for the winter months is important to have a healthy garden bed in the springtime. We won't be reading them bedtime stories or tucking them in, but we are going to be giving them a little TLC to help them prepare for the winter months. A big thank you to Ross, one of our head gardeners with Grow to Give, for sharing his green thumb knowledge that helped made this video. First off, depending on what you've been growing, there are a number of root vegetable varieties that can still manage in the cooler weather and even the frost, such as carrots, turnips, beets, and parsnips. Even some leafy greens like kale, Swiss chard, or even cabbage can manage. But be sure to get everything out of the ground before it freezes. So if you have any of those late season harvests still growing, you may want to keep them in the ground a little bit longer. You'll just want to be sure to take care of this before the ground gets too hard. There are three major steps in putting your garden to bed for the season. One, removing debris. Two, turning the soil. And three, adding compost. Step one, removing the vegetation. This is essentially removing all of the plants, weeds, and any debris, being sure to get as much of the root systems as possible. These can be hotbeds for pests and disease over the winter, so we want to get our garden as debris-free as we can. This is also a great opportunity to compost those removed plants for next year. Two, turning the soil. Now we want to turn the soil, which can be done with a shovel or garden fork. The essential aim is to bring soil from the bottom to the top. This will also break up the soil and expose insects as well. Three, adding compost. After you've turned the soil, we want to add organic amendments. Things like pine needles, leaves, and compost. Fallen leaves are readily available this time of year and work really well in the garden. An easy option is to run over the leaves with a lawnmower, if you have one, and then dig them into the soil. Leaf mulch holds moisture and will help keep the weeds down for the next garden season. We recommend using leaves because they're organic, they're local to the area, they're a natural fertilizer, and they're free. There you have it, the three steps to close your garden for the season, bedtime story optional. Happy gardening and see you next time.